Hey guys, this is Joey from Total Justice Gaming, uh, bringing you uh, the Vine Guardians Tanuki deck I, that I took to Atlanta. Went three and two with, you know, bubbled out at the very end. Um, four of my five matches were Thunder Empire, and I won half. So, I mean, it was 50 50 with it. Um, basically, if I went second, I had a, I could eat most of the time just overpower them because they usually didn't have nothing. But boy, if they went second, then they, you know, they got the push in. I mean, there was nothing you can do. So, that's, I guess this is kind of a game we're going to be playing now in Buddy Fight. But um, we'll just uh, go ahead and get this uh, this deck and see what you like. Um, so, we'll start out with a size three kind of. In kind of monster impact, uh, Avalon Benedict Ray. Um, comes in handy. Uh, sometimes I'd open with it, uh, obviously, just automatically goes in the gauge and I just cycle it back into my deck. Um, I only used it once actually impact calling it from my deck, or from my hand, sorry. Uh, most of the time, I would use Heaven Sunshine to uh, get it out of my, pop their monster and get it out of my deck. And then you know, call it and go ham, but I mean, just a good size 3 monster. Other options you could do, um, inverse Timbu's pretty decent in this deck, because you can actually search it off of Heaven Sunshine, because Heaven Sunshine is search a Guardian or Dragon World card, so, um, and he's just, you know, inverse Timbu, just pretty decent card in this deck, but uh, I decided to go with Avalon because and I, I just felt that Avalon could uh, make an impact. Haha. -ha. A little better. So, yeah. Next, of course, uh, four of your buddy, uh, Giant Tanuki. Um, Tanuki came in handy, obviously. I mean, the deck's built around him. Um, basically, build, your, uh, build his crit up real hard. I, I build his crit up to uh, five with him, and then. Um, Give him double attack with the item that you'll see later. Just really solid card. Um, good, good in executioners, but amazing in guardians. I mean, he's he's built for guardians. Overall, um, he definitely gets overshadowed in um, executioners, but boy, um, he gave guardians the push that they needed to be uh, definitely a better deck. Yeah. Going to my uh, my backup too. I run. Uh, I always forget his name. Uh, Glitney, Guardian Cavalry Dragon Glitney. Um, came in handy at times if I couldn't get Tanuki out, and um, those rare, very rare times that I couldn't get Tanuki out because you, I mean, you cycle so much in this deck and toolbox, toolbox, toolbox. Um, being able to toolbox search your deck, you know, very good in this game. But anyway, um, move Soul Guard. Um, they I mean, cost two gauge, but with this deck, with the de way the deck runs now, um, you just get gauge out the wazoo, and you just, uh, I mean, and then if you have a, what's it, a three or less in the drop zone, you get double attack, and so, I mean, just solid card, and counter, uh, give your opponent minus two, minus two, minus one crit, definitely can uh, put a damper on, um, Thunder Empire make their uh, push not as hard. Still a hard push, but it makes it not as hard. So there's that. Now for my tech. Went with the Water Dragon, two of the Water Dragon. Um, never really saw him in the deck when I played. Um, when I practiced with the deck, I saw him a lot. And made, you know, he made good push. Um, definitely plussed when I uh, would gain life, just kept plussing off him, but uh, other than that, it just didn't, I just didn't really see him, he didn't come in handy. He could definitely be taken out for uh, other cards. I would recommend other size ones, or size zeros, but I mean, I guess, you know, with the only five games, he just didn't, uh, he didn't show up, which is okay, I just, which means I got the Tanuki quicker and just went for games, so good thing and bad thing. And that's it for the twos. I'm going to ones. Arguably your most important one now. Um, impartial Beast. Uh, Guardius. I mean, double attack. You know, when you swing with him twice, you just increase your Tanuki's crit for the, for the game push. Um, 
being able to attack multiple times in this deck here. Now that it has, you know, can attack multiple times, has definitely given this deck uh, the push that it needed. Because it would definitely um, would stall out to a lot more uh, defensive decks that could just stop your attack. So with double, just getting that double attack was just so good. So there's him. Another fun one, um, you got Monochrome, Dragon, um, Partial Dragon. He, um, stuff being, your stuff not being able to be, uh, all cards on the field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, so just definitely would come in handy at times. I mean, 4 2 1, nothing to shake a stick at. Um, definitely would, uh, keep, him, keep you in the game uh, sometimes when those. Anti-destruction hate cards, so really may can make your opponent cry a little bit. Um, the last size one, I only went with a three melody flute dragon. Um, you have so much search for gates now that it's ridiculous. I only found myself honestly with one game that I did not get gates, and then. I pulled something else that um, just turned the uh, game and I ended up winning, but um, just being, having that backup, being able to uh, search gates out is good and it's optional, so it, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to search gates, but definitely came in handy at times, but um, def definitely not as important as it used to be, but still very important. Then to my size zeros and the last monster in the in the deck, uh, impartial, impartial knight just law, just law, just um, just good. Being able to bounce um, counter and bounce your tanuki from uh, basically stalling out an attack is just really good. Um, nice size zero one one one. I mean nothing stats nothing to shake a stick at, but that counter. The pay gauge and bounce your Tanuki to hand, uh, especially if your opponent has like if you put Tanuki in the center and your opponent has penetrate, just counter bounce it. And you, it's okay if you don't get the soul guard, but you just you know neg them and attack and the penetrate damage and keep you in the game. So it kind of forces them to attack a uh, just law, which is fine. You lose your little size zero, but you um, gain in the end where you you can stall out more and go for a game. And that's it for the monsters. Um, Going to spells. Four gates. Enough said. Heart and soul of the deck. Um, get you your stuff. Let your toolbox, let you get everything back in your deck. Um, best card in the deck. Easily. Everything else can is pretty much kind of uh, interchangeable, but except for this card, honest. Yeah, so, enough said about that. Um, Next, the new card in the set, we've got Heaven's Gift. I mean, free search for your, uh, free search for uh, gates, which is nice. So you don't have to pay a gauge or anything, search for gates. Um, also, it's other, th it's second effect, so if you're, if you're playing something and you don't get gates until much later in the game and you've already um, milled your, you know, used up so much resources and you're, Discard pile so big, this can save you and get your discard pile just, or your drop zone. Sorry, your drop zone just completely just gone. And I mean, then you gain it as a gauge and draw a card if you have gates. So I mean, just really, really, really good um, multi-purpose card in the deck. I definitely recommend maxing it. Just definitely the push that um, Guardians needed to uh, be competitive again. This card right here. This card is what sold me on. Um, beside, beside, just besides Katanuki, uh, Heaven's Gift is what sold me on making this deck again. Um, next, uh, we have Heaven's Shield. Now, Heaven, you do have to have a center, an open center to use this. But and, and a lot of times I didn't have an open center. Um, so arguably you can use um, the other one that the I forgot what it's called with the hero world one where if it's if it's not a link attack you can um, negate the attack it, which that one you don't have to have an, a, an empty center but um, 
I found myself um, getting my Tanuki, ba- bouncing my Tanuki anyway a lot with um, Just Law. And then after I bounced my Tanuki, I'd have an empty center because I call Tanuki in the center a lot. And I just haven't shield the next one. So it wasn't, it never truly was a huge um, downplay. Um, just tinker with it, see what, you, you know, it's definitely a deck you could tinker with and see what you like better. For me, I like having shield. Next card, um, and definitely MVP of the deck. Um, Dragon Sky Regression. Um, this is your saving grace against bots and Thunder Empire, because Thunder Empire definitely was running wild everywhere in Atlanta. As I said, four out of my five games were Dragon Empire. The other one was the was a Fenris deck that was really good, um, but I beat that I beat that deck as well. But anyway, um, Dragon Sky Regression, um, just being able to either bounce you your card, your size two or less, which um, you know your Tanuki or your or even your Guardius if you you really want to save your Guardius if you're running low, or um, if they try and they swing for, with bots that you know during that turn you just bounce their if they don't have sand castles. That Sandcastle's card on the field, which uh, surprisingly a lot of people didn't play that card, don't know why, but you just bounce that bots and save the push, and then next turn try to go for game with Tanuki. Um, so, I mean, just saves it saves you game. This card was very very good. Um, definitely uh, definitely MVP spell MVP easily. Um, next, I only played uh, two Heaven Sunshine. Um, there's a there's. If I found room for more, I would have. Um, I felt other cards were definitely needed more. But I just, uh, you know, definitely tinker with it. If I could find more space, I probably will. But you know, this is the deck. As I said, this is the deck that I took with me. I'm, st- you know, I'm probably gonna change it after this video, but we'll see. Um, but this Heaven Sunshine. Uh, Pay a life, destroy their card, and then search your deck for a Dragon World or a Guardian's monster from the that's equal size of the card you destroyed, and then um, pay its call cost. I mean, that's your. Uh, I mean, what's the word? Uh, toolboxing again, just toolboxing and getting stuff out, and um, and also negging your opponent a card, just good. And paying one life in this deck's not gonna make you or break you because you're just. I mean, you're going to continually gain life, um, whether it be uh, Gates or Tanuki. So, and I mean, you're going to have Tanuki out. Tanuki is going to be your your bud. So, here we go. And then the last spell that I play, of course, is two Sky Dragon Divinity. Um, I only play two because a lot of times, if I played more than two, it I got it too early in the game, and I just end up gauging it. And I just put it back, and I can always just put it back. Um, you toolbox so much in this deck, and you're going to siphon through. You're eventually going to see that Sky Dragon Divinity at some point. So, that being said, um, two, two was appropriate. I never felt lacking without the two, as opposed to like a, maybe a Heaven Sunshine. Um, and even with Heaven Sunshine, it, most of, majority of the time, I didn't feel lacking either. So, yeah, there's. But that's the, so that's the end of the spells. The items. I just went ahead and maxed out the new um, rod, fabulous rod. Rest it, give something double attack. I mean, really good. Um, most of the time, I gave Tanuki double attack. Sometimes I give other rear guards double attack, so I can just give Tanuki just a big crit because it leads up to my uh, final card of the deck, which is my impact, and that is um, four uh, or sorry, three. Guardians, Executioners, or worse. So, pay to gauge. Um, choose a Guardian on your field, and they'll deal damage equal to its crit. So, the play, of course, if no one knows it, get everything out. Yeah, inner battle. Yeah, before you enter battle, rest. Give Tanuki um, double attack. Swing. Tanuki gain a gauge with Tanuki's ability. Tanuki now has three crit. Swing gain a gauge with Tanuki's ability to can Tanuki's 
uh, now has a uh, four crit. Restand double attack, swing again to gain another gauge. Tanuki now has five crit. Then uh, swing, five, crit of five with penetrate, swing, crit of five, and then hopefully your opponent doesn't have, you know, opponent's down to five, which most likely they are, then pay to deal another five. Game. Um, you can easily OTK, and that's what I'm saying. If you went second against um, Thunder Empire and they didn't have enough uh, stuff, they're going to probably, they'll definitely um, waste it all on your Tanuki, at least try to stop your Tanuki, but um, if they couldn't, then they just died easily. So, I mean, just good deck, good push, you can OTK with it, but um, as I said, 50 50 against uh, Thunder Empire. Um, Above all, Thunder Empire is the better deck, but you you do have a chance to win with this deck. It's not it's not a complete just um, train wreck. If you do play that deck, you do, there is hope you can win. So um, sadly, I never got to really. I, I mean, I practiced against um, I practiced against Gear Golems. It was 50-50 there too, or not Go Gear Golems. Sorry, uh, the 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 whatever Golems that they have out now. Um, Dual golems, thank you. Um, it, I was about 50-50 with that. It, it was definitely a back and forth with them. Um, Perg Knights had a, had an interesting um, matchup against this. Um, I felt per, I felt this was a little bit better than Perg Knights, but that was just with uh, the matchup that I had. Um, sadly, never got to uh, face Chaos, but there's a lot of side deck with this deck. You definitely have to side against Chaos. Um, which my side deck just consisted of a lot of um, the size uh, center hate and size three hate, and uh, of course, of course, uh, Negra balls. So I mean, you still have a chance against chaos, but you only have to, but you'll definitely have to side against it. Um, don't have really have to side against um, uh, Thunder Empire, but. Because basically, with Thunder Empire, it's a coin flip. If you go second, you can easily beat them. If you don't go second, then you're gonna have a you're probably gonna have a rough ride. It's not impossible, but you're gonna have a rough ride. But any, anyway, I think I mean the deck. I'd give this deck solid out of ten. I'd give it a solid uh, six point five to seven. Seven. Six point five to seven out of ten. Um, good. I mean, good solid deck. Fun to play, um, especially and if you get the OTK off. On somebody, just watching the salt, the salt of their tears, just put it in your cup and drink it. It's pretty fun. But anyway, um, that's um, this is Joey from Total Justice Gaming. Um, um, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching, man.